Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook. Day Doddles. It is much earlier than usual. <laughs> it's a little after 8 o'clock. I had to get up at uh, about 6.30 and uh, ride with my husband basically to work. Pick up my truck, drive it back. There's still some alignment issues with it, but it is back home. I like my truck, y'all. <laughs> Go ahead, it's back. Well, it's, a, it's an envoy, is it? Not a truck, but uh, it's an SUV. Ooh, excuse me. Mercy, I need more coffee. I have uh, my traveling mug today because I fixed it before I left. It says, I can totally make that. My, uh, my crafty mom made it for me. That's what I call her. My crafty mom. She's She's been my dad's best friend since high school and now and her and her husband, her kids, we all went, used to go on vacations together and do stuff. They still they go on trips together and all kinds of stuff. So, But she likes to crochet and sew like I do and stuff. So I call her my crafty mom. <laughs> But she made this for me. She found them. Oh. What are those? SVG file? But I love my mug. I use it every morning when I go to work, usually. So, that's why I put it in so I could sip on coffee. Because I couldn't eat till I come back. I got my grits and eggs sitting here waiting on me. So, I had to take my thyroid medicine in the mornings and you gotta wait an hour before you can eat or really drink coffee but I took my coffee because it I would be able to uh, drink it on the way back and uh, uh yeah my brain ain't awake yet and then I fix my breakfast when I come back so I am going to eat this and then I'm going to be sewing. It's in my shirt. But first coffee. That's the rule, right? But first coffee. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to yeah, get some sewing done because I have to get up even earlier tomorrow to drive to ride with my dad to Atlanta to pick up my son. So uh, yeah. I didn't sleep good last night either. My brain would not be be quiet. I even took some valerian root, and that usually puts me right to sleep. Keeps me asleep. Did not work last night? I don't know. Anywho, I'll let y'all go for now. I'll see y'all again later. Bye. Hey y'all. I'm back. I just took me uh, taking a little bit of a lunch break. I uh, got me some lunch. I walked the dogs. Come again, I fixed me some more coffee and my hit me with your best pot coffee because I didn't want to drink out of the tumbler in the house. This one's got whipped cream on top. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, it's delicious. Anyway, a little afternoon. Just afternoon, pick me up. It's just about 12.30. But I was gonna show y'all some heavy mail I got yesterday. Um I get back to my sewing so let's just take a look shall we well some of this came in yesterday a couple things I wanted to show y'all came in the other day and I just hadn't shown it to y'all yet um so I got this this big bag of stuff sorry about all the noise from darn good yarn they have a dollar deal section going on yeah, lots of things for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. And I grabbed some stuff out of that section and my bag came yesterday. So let's take a look. Um I ha I got a pair of these wool fleece lined socks that I kept seeing. I think these were five dollars. But yeah, fleece lined wool socks, Colorado Rockies. They're hand knit, which is pretty awesome. 
um because and i'm glad they are fleece lined i haven't tried them on yet because this is some scratchy wool <laughs> i'm just gonna say yeah this is i would not want that against my skin so i'm glad that it's fleece lined you can see the heel and stuff in it so yeah i'm looking forward to um putting to try them out and keeping my feet nice and toasty when i'm walking around the house or what have you uh yeah we'll see how that goes because it's this has got a big seam up one side like maybe it's because it's got the fleece in it i don't know anywho i got those you don't you didn't get to pick out your color you just get whatever color they send you um I thought maybe they could be a gift for somebody. Um, but I don't know. Because it's got the wool on the outside. They might be too sensitive. You know, I feel like my camera is crooked. It's a little. I think it's still crooked, but it's a little better. I'm not going to fool with it anymore. Um. Maybe I got overly excited about my socks. Anyway, so I also got this, which I think this was a dollar or two. Recycled Silk Super Bulky Yarn. I really like the colors of it. There's 50 grams, 50 yards. It says it's a number six, but that's not a number six. That might be... That might be a number four. Maybe a thick number four. It's got, you know, the thick and thin. I would not consider that a number six at all. But Catskill Fireworks is the name of the colorway, but I really like that. Um, I think this was a dollar or two as well. Let's see if I got a receipt in here anywhere that has... Oh, oh, I think I might have found it. Uh, it doesn't have prices on it, though. It's just a parking slip. So, anyway. anyway, I didn't pay more than... The socks was the most expensive thing, $5. Everything else was a dollar or $2, maybe $3. I'm pretty sure this was... I think this was a dollar, and I think maybe this was $2 or something like that. This is... Uh, also silk yarn, recycled silk yarn, 230 yards is uh, lace weight, but just called purple. I like that purple though. There's a purple purple in it. Um, I got two of these, which I believe were a dollar a piece. It's like little, what do they call it? Mini wool bow tie threads sampler packs. So. It's wool, but it's like you can use it for embroidery. But for a dollar, I got like this color, these autumnal colors, and these are more eh, just brighter colors. Yeah, so I got two of those. Um, I got some more of these amigurumi packs, even though I have some over there I haven't done yet. <laughs> but they were a dollar or two dollars each, different depending on which one it was. I got a fox one. Now these come with all the yarn, the stuffing, and the needle that you need. And it has a knit or crochet pattern in it. So you can do one or the other. Um, so I got the fox. I got the frog. I got the cactus one. And unicorn one and each of these like two of them were a dollar each and two of them were two dollars each i don't know i don't remember which one but um it's just a little pamphlet now this right here this little bead kit was a dollar it's got 
beads and some stringing material in it. I think it's got some instructions in the little paper. Um, oh, it's got, I just saw that it has eye pins and earring hooks and stuff too. So, yeah, that's not bad for a dollar. It's got a little container. And there are seed beads in there too. I see them. I think the rest of them are plastic, but there are the seed beads, which are glass. So pretty cool. That was a dollar. Oh, and I got a watermelon kit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I got in the in the little dollar set. I think they've added some more stuff since I got this. Um, I'll put a link down below. They are an affiliate of mine. Like I said, I love the things that Donner Good Yarn does. And they have great products to offer. I just, you know, you know how I feel about the club boxes for some of these. So, um, yeah, go check out their dollar deals. Lots of fun stuff to be had. There's my dog barking. I don't know why she's barking. She was chewing on a bone. Maybe she doesn't like the bone's not behaving, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so, let me put that back down there. And then I'm going to grab this box. I'm trying not to fall in the floor. This is fabric, y'all. This is fabric that I want to share with y'all. Um, let's see. This stack. I also want to show that, you know, most of the Etsy shops that I order stuff from, fabric from, I don't have issues with. I told y'all about that issue I had with that one shop, which was not just me. It was apparently something, somebody popped up and decided to scam a bunch of people. But I did file a dispute with Etsy and I was refunded my money. So, um, let's see. I thought this was real cute. This came with these fabrics. Both of these shops were having sales. Well, one of them I've ordered from from before. This one I never have, but this is Simply Love Fabrics. Both of these came super fast. Did that even do anything? Here we go. Simply Love Fabrics. And now back to me. She put this super cute band-aid in here. It's got like measuring tapes and a little rotary cutter wheel. I guess she knows that you could cut your fingers when you cut fabric. And then two Lifesaver mints. I love these things. They're good. So this is a fabric I got from her. I got this. It's like a little red riding hood themed fat quarter bundle. I just thought it was so cute and I really love the colors of it but it's, it's got images of the wolf and little red riding hood and the grandma and the woods and then this one's a little different I just love the colors and this has got some tiny red riding hoods on it and then there's this in, is this the same as the white, but in pink? No, it's a little different still. Might be the same. No, let me see. A little stove and stuff. And this is just a coordinating print with some little tulip looking things on it. This one's got some bows. And this one. Yeah, I think that's the same as that pink print, but just in a different color way. The minty green color. This has got some little mushrooms and apples and stuff on it and flowers. There's another tiny print in a different colorway of the tiny red riding hood. And there's the tulip print in the blue and the red. I just, I liked the colors of it. It was just a cute little bundle that I kept seeing. And I just like that it was uh, she was having a sale in her shop and I don't remember I don't have my paper for the prices I don't remember how much it was but 
Y'all should go check her out. Now, I saw this and I had to buy it. Particularly because one person I know loves these the things that are on this print. And she told me so. And I've seen so. Here you go, Shelly. There's you some sock monkeys. They're super sock monkeys. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest? It came in this bundle with uh, this this black and white polka dot and this uh well those are polka dots too. They're yellow, but they're just close together. And I think these are one yard cuts too. Or half yard cuts. But I saw it and it made me think of you, Shelly. So look at that. Isn't that cool? I found some sock monkey fabric I haven't seen before. I haven't ever seen that before, but Anyway, I thought that was super cute and I had to get that. So that's what I got from that shop. The uh, Simply Love fabric. Let's put that over here. And then this next order came from Bruce Stitch on Etsy, which I've ordered from her before. Oh, there's my papers. They're up under all of this. Wait. Hold on. Okay, so that's the only thing I got from her. Remember those enamel pins that I showed you? Rolling with my homies and stash snitches get stitches. <laughs> I got those from the Simply Love Fabrics as well. And so I got those two things. And then I also got this bundle from her. Which is a Halloween Trick or Treat by Carta Bella for Penny Rose Fabrics. Wait a minute, I have two... Sorry, this came with, that's what this one is. <laughs> so it has some fun. This one's really cool. It has different little images in the thing. This box is in my way, y'all. Yeah, I know these are Halloween fabrics, but I want to make a Halloween quilt. And potentially save some of these for next year. But I really like this. I like the colors in this. It's more vintage feeling. This is just a teal to coordinate and an orange stripe to a coordinate. And here is the little print again in a different colorway. Um, I just love those little images. And then here is that same word print in black and white. And then a black and white stripe. So I really liked that one. So actually... Is that the original price? A lot of times they'll put a discount at the end. So, what was the discount? Does it tell me? No. Hmm. I probably saved about the total before my discount was one forty six, but I saved fifty eight dollars and forty six cent. So. And it was free shipping because of, I think she has, if you spend $35 or more, you get free shipping. So it was 20%, I want to say, or better on some of these. So I also got this costume maker's ball uh, fat quarter set because I got that big panel. And one of the fat quarter sets I'd ordered from that other place was the full costume maker's ball. Um, set, which I can't find. So I got this one, which it's still a good one. It has such the fun stuff in it. Like that. And then it's got a nice polka dot. And that's like, looks like measuring tape. And this grungy or grungy hatchy orange, black and white, spider web. And then that. That's actually got little X's on it. So, this would be great for Halloween quilt. Um, and then I also, from this shop, got this. I got a whole yard of this linen. It's Blythe by Katarina Rosella for, for Art Gallery. It's just a gorgeous print, y'all. I love it. And this is a linen. I will most likely have some bags made out of this. Um... It's got uh, 
quotes about nature. Necessity is the mistress and guide of nature. Necessity is the theme and inventor, inventress of nature. Her curb and her eternal law. Nature never breaks her own laws. So it just has things like that on there about nature. And the little antlers with different colors. I just loved this. And it's a nice linen. So it's got a good texture to it. It's a beautiful fabric. Um, and it was $8 for a yard of it. But that was, I still had a discount. So that was a good price um, for that. So that's everything I got from Simply Love Fabrics. And then... I got all of this from Bruce Stitch, which I've ordered from her before. She always has a great sale and clearance section. She just has great fabrics all around. Um, Bruce Stitch on Etsy. There you go. She has a great selection. Super fast shipping. Like I said, I've ordered from her before. Um... And at this shop, my total was $61.15 before discounts, and I saved $12.81, so $48.34. And it was free shipping on $35 or more. Oh, she has a newsletter. You can get subscriber-only coupons and offers. I need to sign up for that. <laughs> Do I really need to sign up for that? Next year's supposed to be a stash down. I probably have enough fabric to last me through half the year next year for bags in the shop. We'll see. But this right here, I know this panel is intended for children. I mean, it's a children's panel, but it is so gorgeous. And I had to have it. Um, look at it. What if I can even get all of it in here? Let me get it turned around. Just the colors on it and the images. They're just beautiful. Look, they're like on a rabbit. And on the border, there's all these beautiful butterflies. But they're actually fairy butterflies. They got little fairies on them. And then there's the, the boy in the little bear suit. And then there's the girl on the saving the day on a narwhal. How cool is that? And then there's the bigger your heart, the more it will hold. And look, there's yarn with knitting needles on it. So that was <laughs> an extra plus. And there's mushrooms on it. And a little wind up of bunny in the corner. This one says dreams, the girl on the, the bird. I hope you can see that. It's just such a beautiful panel. Maybe one day I'll have grandkids and I can <laughs> make a quilt for them out of this. But I had to have it. And it was a good price. It's just so gorgeous. Um, this is a Riley Blake design, of course. Uh, Emily Winfield Martin. Uh, my dog is over here rolling around on the floor if y'all hear that dream world is what it's called there's a whole lot of fabrics that go with it but I just wanted this this panel it's so gorgeous and the imagery is just stunning on here I just love I just love this panel and like I said I will be saving that for a special, special little one. For sure. Mm -hmm. Of course, my son told me that day would be 10 years before I get grandbabies. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm okay with him waiting. I'm okay with him doing his own thing and figure out who he is before he settles down and has a family and all that stuff. Okay? But I hope it's not at 10 years. That's a long time. <laughs> Anywho. That was gorgeous. And then I got these fun things, which you may see in my winter bag update. Okay. Um, look, isn't this pretty? This little sheep knitting. 
Yeah, it's hard to find anything with them crocheting, but they're sledding and, and knitting and, and all kinds of fun things. I just thought it was cute. Uh, that is sheepish, sheep, sheepish from Dear Stella. Uh, I don't know what's going on with her. Then I got this uh, cool mushroom. I think it's called Dreaming of Snow is the line it's from. But it's just, I liked it because it kind of does look like snow in the background. But it's got mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Now all of these next prints is from the Ghostwood uh, line of fabrics by Ray Ritchie from Dear Stella. She makes some great fabrics designs. You got these beautiful moths, that purple and pink color. This is actually a skull and flowers with moths around it. Um, this one is really cool looking. So these are the skull ones, kind of Halloweeny, but they're not. <sighs> I guess they have an ethereal, ethereal, ethereal quality to them. Am I saying that right? Ethereal? I feel like I'm not saying it right. So, dreamy. We'll just go with dreamy. How about that? Uh, there's like a wolf and uh, a rabbit and a, a deer or a whatever that is and a bird. But I just love the color palette of it. And then this is um, like some little purpley and pink flowers. And then this one is really pretty too. It's um, just flowers with that little starry look in the background. Yeah. So it's kind of dreamy kind of thing. You know, the, the skull is, you know, I thought, I just liked it. I thought it was pretty. So that's what I got from Bruce Stitch. Um, this is gonna be a lot. Should I show y'all the other fabric? Let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and then I'll probably I might put a little ending a little bit later. But this is about to be it for today, y'all. Um, I actually put in an order with Fabric.com. I don't usually do that. I feel like I'm blurry. Am I blurry? Maybe I'm just. I need to clean my eyeballs out. I don't usually order from fabric.com because most of the time to get the, the deal that they're advertising, you got to get about two, three, four, five yards of it to get that deal. But they recently changed that. I think most of their fabrics now you can get just a yard um, because they sent out an email about it. They heard us, our request. And they made it happen. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I got, I wish I had got more of this now, but I got this beautiful cork. I've seen stuff made with cork before, and I've never tried it. It's super thin, and it's like a, a fabric y type back, and then you got the cork. It's so pretty. Um, it's usually very expensive, but I got this. For uh, less than $10 a yard, I know. I don't remember what it was, but it was a really good price. They were having a sale, um, a pre-Black Friday sale or whatever. And so I got that. Everything's packaged in an individual plastic, which I appreciate, especially when fabric is shipped in a box. So if it gets wet, it's going to wet the fabric. Um... I got this fat quarter set, which I just thought was super cute. Um, it's called Food Trucks. I'm not going to take it apart, but, well, you can see the food trucks on there. And then it's got things like, that's got hot dogs and pizza on it. And then it's got one with donuts on it. I think this one's just got more food trucks, just bigger. And then that one's just got forks and spoons and knives. And then this one's got 
ice cream cones on it. And this one's just people and people eating. Oh, that one's got pretzels on it. And this is looks like drinks, different kinds of drinks. Mustard and ketchup. And this one, well, I already showed you that one. It's got different foods on it, so. I just thought it was super cool. Might make it for some interesting bags in the summer. Um, we've had food trucks come. We, they came that one time, and I was so excited about going. Well, we got there later, and some of them had sold out. The cupcake truck I wanted to go to had sold out, so. Plus, it was hot. It was so hot. They brought them back again later in the evening one time, and I, I didn't get to go to that one, but. Maybe they'll come back again. I'll get to see them again. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, this right here is an embossed velvet. Which I just thought was so cool. There was another one I was going to get, but it sold out before I could get it. So, it's very different. Just going to tell you all that. So, here we go. <laughs> I just really liked that. It's not a super plush velvet. It's very low pile. And this is kind of embossed on it. This texture it looks like fur or something. I just, I just thought it was kind of neat. So, picked it up. There I had one that had more like peacock feathers almost on it. On a blue. It was gorgeous. It was a good price too. But I tend to go through stuff. Pick out everything I possibly could want. Um edit it back down and I always I don't ever it's rare for me to order something as soon right after I put it in my cart that's just don't happen very much so sometimes I'm out on things because I wait and think about it so this next fabric I cannot show you because it's for the bags for my mini maker uh my mini maker bag of the month club I'm starting next year so I can't show you, but I'm excited about it. I can show you the rest of the stuff in here. They're not anything super interesting. I got this, I probably won't even take it out of the plastic, but this kind of orangey canvasy material. I got this canvasy gingham, which, let's see. It's nothing. It's just, I got this stuff for, uh, Actually, I don't think I realized that was a canvas. I thought it was like regular cotton, but it is canvas. It's just a neutral gingham color. They're good for um, bag bottoms and, and all kinds of stuff. I got some ticking, which you can see that a little bit. This is a red ticking, and that's like a canvas material. And then I got some a blue. It's kind of a blue-green. I got, so that's what I got. I got one more thing. Let me put this back in here. From fabric.com, which when it came, it came, I got this box, which, you know, I was expecting a box like that, especially since I had ordered some heavier weight fabrics. I'll put this other stuff. Give me just a second. Okay, I got things rearranged. I think I made my camera a little bit more crooked, but the super tall, taller than me box came with it. And I was like, it's, my husband was outside when it came and it was UPS. I was like, well, what the heck is that? Because it was so tall and skinny. <clears throat> he said it's from fabric.com. And I'm like, what is it? You see I ordered some faux leather material in this pebbled gray. Yeah, because I, I want to try out some things like that for bag bottoms next year. But y'all, they put it on this tube. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this is almost two foot longer than the, the, the fabric it goes on, which... I do appreciate they put it on a roll because I have ordered faux leather before and it come folded and it's hard to get creases out of faux leather because you can't, 
you can iron it on the back side to a certain extent you can obviously cannot iron the front but this keeps it from being creased and i do appreciate that i just don't understand why maybe these are the only side rolls they have but you know what I could, it's a pretty sturdy roll i'm gonna look for me some i bet you i can't find any fleece this wide though you can make me one of those puzzle mats and roll up puzzle mats that'd be awesome but that's what it was it was just i just ordered a yard of it <laughs> but i do appreciate that they took the time to roll it rather than fold it so um it just i couldn't believe and i didn't pay for shipping for this because it was i think over $49 you get free shipping, so pretty cool. I got a big old pepper tube to play with now. <laughs> I don't know, are y'all, do y'all, I, I enjoy getting interesting packaging because I usually will use it for another project. Do y'all do that? I do that. Um, all right, I got to get back to sewing. I'm going to let y'all go for now. I may sign off a little bit later. But, uh, there's, uh, sales going on, you know? I'll come back and say bye before I upload this. But it, this this little segment's over 30 minutes already. Well, you know, the other ones have been kind of short, so we got a long one today. See y'all later.